Well, while there were some skirmishes on the ice last night, it was what happened after the game that has led to a war of words. A tweet from the LA Kings has been lighting up social media. Dana Hutchings is here now with more in tonight's Checkpoint. Jim, it was the tweet heard around the NHL. As soon as the Kings beat the Canucks last night, a post appeared on the LA Kings official Twitter feed. It read, to everyone in Canada outside of BC, you're welcome. It would seem as though the Canucks aren't well liked across the country as it's been retweeted more than 15,000 times since. Of course, rep responses were swift, some tweets calling the Kings classless and sore winners. The Kings took to the ice in Vancouver this afternoon for a practice ahead of tomorrow night's game. Now today, the VP of the Kings did apologize to the many fans who found the tweet offensive. The Kings coach even called the comment ignorant. Here's more of what he and some players had to say about the Twitter trash talk. I have a ton of respect for, for the other team, for what they have accomplished in the last, as I said yesterday, two seasons in playoffs. So it's really a... To me, it's not even an issue. It doesn't it certainly doesn't come from us. It obviously, wasn't somebody in our dressing room, so we uh, we can't focus on that. We we have no control over what people tweet or, or social media wise. We just play the hockey game. I don't really know what to say about that. That's uh, whatever. Uh, it's nothing to do with us, so uh, we'll just ignore it, I guess. You're amused, though. Uh, it's kind of funny, but um, I don't know if we should be saying that right at this point after only winning one game. Jim, the Kings have definitely taken trash talk off the ice and into the realm of social media. The comment and the Kings have been trending on Twitter in BC ever since. But do they have a point? Our checkpoint question, why are the Canucks so hated? Here are some of your thoughts. I don't really care. It's kind of fun more than anything else because every year I've gotten to hear the Canucks fans cry over not getting the cup. The Canucks have won the President's Trophy and every other team hasn't. So uh, I guess they're just losers, sore losers. Canucks are, gonna, Canucks, are, Canucks are the team to beat right now, aren't they? The Canucks have never been, never been a really like highly favored team, so you know, just losing game one if the first series isn't a huge deal to them. So you know, they'll come around probably game seven. I gotta say, it's all about uh, the hate on the hate on the ice and then hate off the ice. It's um, I love the Canucks. I always will. Well, they're a fairly good team. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, people out there would have uh, so much hatred on them. Like, you know, there's nothing to hate about them. From Facebook, Bill says because they whine and whine and whine about the refs or so-called conspiracies and have some of the rattiest players in the league. Natalie thinks that people are jealous. They hate the Canucks because they are so good at what they do, and that's play hockey. Patty says they are the nickelback of the hockey world. So do you care that the Canucks are so hated? 21% said yes. Well, it doesn't matter to the majority. 79% of voters said no. Love the Canucks or hate them. The fact remains it's been 19 years since a Canadian team won the Stanley Cup. That's when the Montreal Canadiens beat the LA Kings. And that's tonight's Checkpoint.